On June 18th, 1986, Sacramento police made a grisly discovery at this house on 4th Avenue in Oak Park. This is where it all started, yep. This is where it all started. A 22-year-old prostitute named Yolanda Johnson found dead in a closet. Over the next 10 months, police would find the bodies of six more young women, most of them buried in shallow graves behind other Oak Park homes. And all of them linked to Oak Park handyman Morris Solomon Jr., later convicted of six murders and sentenced to death. This case is not over, not by a long shot. Sacramento journalist Tony Harvey published a book on the Solomon case, which he says is incomplete. Even though the killing stopped, there's people still out there missing. Police never found a number of other young women who disappeared during the time of the Solomon killings. No one's looking for um, a missing crackhead prostitute. One of those missing women is Paige Lawrence, who left her young son named Justice 27 years ago to run a quick errand. She kissed me on my forehead. She said, Justice, I love you. I'm finna go get some milk. I'll be right back. I just want to know, did, she, did, did you get the milk? I mean, were you able to at least get the milk? Because you didn't come back. Justice later learned from relatives that his mother used to do drugs in Oak Park with Morris Solomon. I actually looked up Morris Solomon. He was a cold dude. Yes, Paige Lawrence, very familiar name. It was one of the missing persons reports. Retired SAC PD Detective John Cabrera investigated 313 murder cases during his 15 years in homicide, including one linked to Morris Solomon. Cabrera shares the belief that Paige Lawrence is likely buried somewhere in Oak Park. There's a good chance, since she hasn't been found to this day, uh, there's a, probably a very good chance, in my opinion, that uh, you know she, she was one of, vic one of the victims of Morris. I just need some answers. After all these years, Paige Lawrence's son wants to meet Morris Solomon, now 69 years old. And I just want to ask him, like, man, do you, do you know, do you know this lady? That's all I want to know is, do you know her? Have you ever seen her before? He, he denies all the killings. This we know. Tony Harvey met with Solomon three times while researching his book and is doubtful he'll provide any meaningful information. But for a man with nothing but a photograph and vague memories of his mother, it's worth a try. She loved me, you know, and for, for someone just to walk away from something that they love, it, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Something had to happen to her. In Sacramento, George Warren, News 10.